out here at my parents' house today, and we just got back from an amazing fishing trip where we went offshore. How far off shore did we go? We wound up about 80 miles out before it was all said and done. It ended up being about a 200 mile trip when it was all said and done. We got just tackled by thunderstorms this morning. Uh, they were all over the place. We spent the first hour sitting there trying to get bait, trying to dodge storms. Yeah, we got out of the dock way late, and we ended up zigzagging across the Gulf of Mexico just to avoid all the storms. It took us till after lunch before we finally got out to where we wanted to fish. We're gonna be dodging some thunderstorms today. Whoa, big old bolt of lightning right there. That's the makings of an adventure. We're going to be getting wet. We're dodging thunderstorms as we head offshore. We are out here on Thrill Ride I'm with my Uncle Perry, Murray, and my dad. And we are going deep sea fishing as far offshore as we can get. As long as we can avoid some of these thunderstorms on the way out there and while we're out there. And we're hoping for big stuff today. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing, giving us a big thumbs up, and slapping that captain's bell so that you never miss an opportunity to get wet with us. the entire morning just driving around storms trying to get away from them we'd, we'd drive away from one storm and another one would pop up right in front of us have to dodge that thing and there'd be another one next to it was a convoluted whole thing so it took us a little bit in order to get baits in the water but we finally did we trolled a spot we didn't really want to fish we don't fish for it to do well there but they're the only places that didn't have storms on yeah at this point it looked like we were far enough offshore we were getting on the outside of the storm we tried to make a run for wind speed we, we ran to the shelf off the edge of the continental shelf and on the way we realized you know what things are cleared up to the point we'll, we might as well run to wind speed that is where things got exciting. When we finally managed to get out to Jim's Peak, we continued to troll around the peak. We ran across several schools of Dorado, Mahi Mahi.
Yep. Thirty pound miles, man. Cool. All right, what are y'all doing here, fucking up? Let's get a lure in for a while. We gotta catch the fish. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a long rigger. Good to go, man. Now here's where things got just a little bit interesting. Since we spent our entire morning dodging storms, and at this point in the day, we had only managed to get into one uh, Dorado, one good size mahi mahi. We felt the need to stay just a little bit later than we probably should have, and we wanted to do a drop for swordfish. Is that a uh, piece of uh, mahi mahi that you're feeding onto that uh, yeah, garlic strip? So the really, really good piece of meat. No, this is probably what we should have. That bone thin, thin. Oh crap! I eat that. Not this time. Get yeah, the other side. Here's Perry, you want Nibbles or nothing? No squid bites? No, it's squid bites. Oh, deep marks on there. Probably a hay cat in mouthing it. Clean. You never know. <laughs> I'll Photoshop a really big fish on there for you. There you go. Yeah, working at it. That's how it goes. Yep. And not go home empty handed. All right, well, we're going to pack up our gear, get back to port, and have a couple of beers. See you in just a second. So, 
sorry about that, but the docks ain't happening. You see, as soon as we got back to the docks, the battery died on our camera. So we decided to go ahead and take a shower. We're about to process some fish. We're gonna cook up some mahi over here. And thank you for watching this video. We very much appreciate your time. We appreciate your support of this channel. Guys, thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and we will address that in the next video, which will hopefully be next weekend. Keep our fingers crossed. We're, we're, we're looking into another trip here. I've got a, I've got to pull some strings at work. We'll see. If you can pull some strings at work, we'll try to do another swordfish run. So, if you guys would like to see another swordfish run, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Very much appreciate your time. You guys go out and have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you in the next video.